I want you guys to tell me, and this is a trick question, how many terms are up here? How many terms? So let's go back to review. Be careful because it's a trick question. All right, show me with your fingers how many. And you only need one hand to do that unless something happens to a couple fingers and maybe that's going to be hard. Okay. All right, the answer is three terms. Oh, I know why. One. That's one term. That's a second term. That's a third term. It's because it's a multiplication. All right. The definition of terms, guys, listen to me carefully. You should have in your notes already. A term is a number by itself, yep. like five, <coughs> or a variable by itself, like V or W by itself, or a product of numbers and variables. And this right here is a product of numbers and variables. That's only one term. Okay. Now, this is a good review, but what's... What's 2w times 9? Raise your hand. Don't just call it out. Yes, Stella? Oh, sorry. I, is that a hand? Yeah. Okay, cool. 18w. It's 18w. You just multiply the numbers. Let's multiply 9 and 2. That's 18. Keep the w. All right. Then plus 6w plus 5 didn't go away, so that's what I have. Do you see the three terms now? Yeah. You see there's just three? Okay. Now I have to ask myself, Mary Addison, you asked this already. Don't I have to simplify if I have like terms? So, Matthew, are there any like terms down here? Uh, 18W. These two are like terms. Very good. So, we have to add the coefficients. <coughs> What's the coefficient of 18W? Everyone? 18. 18. 18. What's the coefficient of 6W? 6. six. So, 18 plus 6? 24. So, I get 24. W by itself, just like that. Good, good. Five. Plus my five. All right, I have two terms left. Are these two terms like terms? No. So I leave it alone. This is as simple as it gets. You're like, that's not simple. Well, it's simpler than that. It's as simple as it can get. And it's as simple as it gets. Exactly. If I don't know what W is, that's as far as I go. Yes, sir. Um, what it means a like term? Yeah, like terms. Good question. Like terms, like these two have the same variables, they both have w, with the same exponents, this one has a one, that one has a one, they have the same variable, same exponent, they're like terms. Okay. Yep, so that's it, don't worry, we'll get more review with that. All right, let's go ahead and do this problem, write this down please. Gets, I'm gonna get more and more complicated and stretch you guys a little bit more on this, sorry, because of my glare. Wait, is that a plus? Oh yeah, sorry, that's not supposed to be there. Uh, oh, come on. Mr. A. Uh, now listen, just write this problem down here, and then I'm going to show you how you can simplify these because that looks kind of complicated. In fact, the definition of simplified is that there are no like terms to combine. No more like terms to combine, so you've done that already. And there are no parentheses. No more parentheses. I'm looking up here. Oh, there are parentheses right here, so i got to get rid of them. Now listen to me. Order of operation says I have to deal with what first? So I, all right, I have parentheses here. Now, some of you said, I don't like this distributive property, but yet today it will be your best friend. Because if you did not like and use the distributive property, this is as simple as it gets. That's not simple. Okay, so now what we're going to do is this. Do you guys see that there are two terms in here? Yeah. Okay, good. Those two terms are not like terms. So I can't combine them. So I'm stuck. I can't move on until I do what's in the parentheses, but there's a term outside the parentheses that's being multiplied, and I underline the negative for a reason. Yes, sir? Does that make that entire thing one term? In a sense for now, yes, but you're going to see what happens. Simplify it and just break Wait, it up. Oh, break it up, yeah, yeah. Yes, ma'am? Wait, so you know how yesterday you said it's easier like, to learn now that Tracking signs and negative signs. Yeah, yeah. Adding signs or positive signs. So could you do that? The negative and the positive? Okay, so are, what do you call that? Negative. Negative, good. What do you call that? Uh, positive. You can call it positive or a plus, and you can call that a minus. But here's what you <laughs> want to do. You're going to do negative 2w, as you guys already thought, oh. times positive 4v. Wait, but why can't you? But they're not like. They're not, okay, good. They're not like terms, but you're not adding them, you're multiplying them. So you're allowed to do that, thankfully. 
Okay, so in just a moment, I'm gonna get your question. It's negative two w times four v. So what's negative two times four? Negative eight. eight. What's w times v? W v. W v. Good. Or it could be v w because of the commuter, commuter property. Yes, ma'am. Okay, good question. Can't you just make this 10V? Yeah. Can you? No. They're not like terms, so you can't combine them anymore. All right, and then what's negative 2W times positive 6? Negative 12W. You just multiply the negative 2 and the 6, and W is right there. You did that on the last problem, by the way. You did that little part. Okay, so this is what I have when I distribute it, but now I have this. Now I have this. Okay, how many terms are up there? Zero. Four. Four. One, two, three, four. Okay. So now you have to ask, and don't say it out loud. I don't want people just calling it out. Are there any like terms? Jimbo. W and no positive three W and negative eight W. Whoa, because yeah, yeah, because they they wait. You can go ahead. Of the oh, hold on. He was gonna say. It's a different. It's a property <coughs> of multiplication that you can switch them. Oh, oh, the commuter property, man. I gotta keep showing itself all the time. Yeah, V W is the same thing as W V. So do these two terms have the same variables? Yeah, they yeah. both have a W and a V. Do the V's have the same exponent? No. Do the W's have the same exponent? Oh. So they are, they are like terms. And then what's 3 plus negative 8, which is the same thing as 3 minus 8? Negative 5. Negative 5. And you can write VW or v, WV. Doesn't matter. And don't forget, V squared didn't just disappear, and neither did 12W. Oh, right. We got 3 now terms. Oh, look at these two terms. They both have a V. But do they both have V squared? No. Uh, oh, wait. These two is what I meant to say. They both have W. But, but do they both have V? No. Oh. That's as simple as it gets. <coughs> That's not simple. I hate it, Mr. That's simpler than that. Whoa. Right? Well, I have a question. You're like, no. What? Yay. Okay. Yes, ma'am. So, since that's a V Squared, yes. but you have another v in that other problem. Could you add that v over there? Like um, make it v to the make third it, power, and then you can combine <coughs> five and twelve. Well, like right here, like no, add a v here. Well, you no, could. No, no, no. Oh. You can move the so that v in negative five. Oh, so bring it, it over there, and then. Then those yeah. two can combine. No, that's good manipulation, but you can't do that because. If you, oh, the only way to get rid of that V is to divide this by V, but that means you change the value of that by dividing by V. It just changed everything's value, which you don't want to do. Later, with equations, you may want to do that. That's later, but we don't have an equation, so we can't do that yet. Yes. You're getting ahead of me. Yes, Stella? I don't understand how this isn't random, because you said, like, that we have, we can trace it back to the property. Yes, yes, yes. But, but how, how is the, how are the properties able to be them stuff? Like, it, it sounds like it's just random rules put together to make the properties. Like, That's, how two can be multiplied by four and six to get <coughs> negative eight W, B, and negative. Okay, okay, I'm gonna give you the short answer. Check out my YouTube videos on distributed property or commutative associative. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Um, <laughs> We can prove the commuter property, we can prove the associate property just by using just everyday examples, and we can even do the distributed property, like your multiplication. Remember how did you do um, multiply seven by a two-digit number, like seven times 19? Do you guys remember doing that mentally? Seven times 10 is 70, seven times nine, 63, 63 plus 70. I'm losing the numbers. Seven times 19, all right. 70 plus 63 is 133. So you can just do it that way. Notice I had to close my eyes because I struggle with that. Got it, okay. 
Uh, let's move on. Oh. Oh. Oh, oh my there. Oh, it's fun. <laughs> yeah, get at that table. That won't help you yet. Looks like some sort of cut. All right, now, guys, would you agree with me that this seems a bit complicated? Yeah. yeah. So our goal is to make it a little bit simplified because, yes, the definition of simplified means no more parentheses and no like terms to combine. Now, please don't get tempted and say, oh, I found like terms. The 2P and P, wait. What do you have to deal with first according to order of operations? What's in there? All right, so I look at the first set. I'm like, I got one, two, three terms. All right, so I got three terms. Can any of those terms be combined? No, because you're adding, you can't do it. Sorry, right. oh, I'm stuck. And then even here, I'm stuck. These don't combine. I, I can't simplify it with order of operations, but that's why we like the distributive property, because what can I do with this one, Chris? The 3 gets multiplied by all three of these terms. Oh. Just like that. All right, ready? Let's take it slowly. What's 3 times P? 3P. Good. What's 3 times Q? 3Q. Oh. Just, uh, sorry, just 3 times Q is 3Q. What's 3 just times 7? 21. See, you can do that. So you, did you get rid of parentheses? Yes. You're making it simpler. But it's still not as simplified because I still have parentheses. Why are you still there? Okay. So does anyone want to tell me what I multiply these three terms by? Be very careful. Be very, very careful. Call it. Negative four. Very good. All right. What's negative four times positive two P? Negative eight P. Negative eight P. Good. What's negative four times positive four Q? Negative six. Negative 16Q. And guys, you understand this is negative 4 times 4 with the Q. Negative 4 times positive 6. Negative 24. Good. Negative 24. Oh, now I have 3 carry the 5. 6 terms. <laughs> it's just what I do in my head, okay? All right. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Hey, let's do some. Two. Oh, it's a lot of All right. Now. I'm going to call on people like Daylin to give me a set of like terms. Are there any like terms? Yes. Just give me one set. 3P and 8P. 3P and? 8P. 8P history. Sorry? 3P and? Negative 8P. Negative 8P. Good. And that means something because it's going to change the sign. Madison? 3Q and negative 16Q. That's correct. And I have Tyler? 21 and negative 24. Good. 21 and negative 24. Good. Have you ever seen uh, in the, like, if you've flown those, like, little magazines that have, like, the paths of yeah. where airplanes go throughout the world? They have all these, like, that's what I have here. Yeah, they look like that. They look like this, right? They're actually ground planes that go underground. That's ground I did not know that, and I'm now scared. Okay. Caroline has a question, and several people are talking, so I'll wait. All right, yeah. Caroline, what's your question? State. How is 21 and negative 24 like? Great question. They're both constants. They're both constants. So they constants automatically can combine together, thankfully. Okay, but the definition says they have the same variables with the same exponents. That's the definition, right? Like terms? Yeah, so you're like, that doesn't fit. It, do you guys want it? Yeah. Can you, can you handle this, Cole? Okay. Yeah. I'll give you something here, buddy. Can. No, you can't. You can't. I'm going to give it to you. You don't have to know for a test or anything. It's for your knowledge. All right. What is it, 21 and negative 24? Or where was it? Negative, yeah. negative 24. Right. So they're, they're over here. I'm emphasizing them. They do have variables. And those variables have exponents. And let's see if you can pick out how we got it. Uh, my favorite letter is B. So I'm just going to randomly put a B to the zero. Okay, hold on. What is B to the zero? One. One. What's one times 21? 21. So even if it wasn't written there, isn't there a one there? Which is B to zero. Uh, what's B to zero? One. If, 
Uh, what's one times negative 24? 24. Negative 24. So Sonis, what property was that? The identity, identity property. Identity, right? We love those properties. They're there. Identity. That's right. Yes, ma'am. This might be getting complicated, but since you said one times 24, wouldn't it become normal 24 because of positive times negative? Okay. Good. I'm glad you checked us on that. What's 3p plus negative 8p? Uh, 5p. Yes, negative 5p. Well, listen up. 3p. 3p plus negative 8p is negative 5p. Because 3 plus negative 8 is negative 5. And then you keep the variable. What's 3q plus negative 16q? Negative 13q. Negative 13q. And guys, if you're like, that's not 3 plus negative 16. Well, what's 3 minus 16? It's still negative 13 q. Yeah. And then what's 21 plus negative 24? Uh, negative 33. Negative 3, because one's a positive and one's a negative. Yeah. You one. subtract. Yep. That's uh, I have three terms. <coughs> Are any of these like terms? No. no. That's the symbols I get. Change. You went from here to there. And that's like, why. Not, not as hard as it looks. Okay, good. Because you guys will be able to do it starting with this one. Oh, why did I say that? I'm sorry. Yeah, Kate, okay, you always ruin it. <laughs> dot. So why hard. you always have to ruin it? Oh, there's a dot right there. Oh, where? Dot. Oh, right here. Yeah. Right there. Sorry. All right. <laughs> okay, just try down. The dot is bothering me. That's okay. Uh, uh, I, I, let me do this, guys. Let me do this. Ready? You keep working, but for those of you who are being bothered, you are being bothered for not. That means you're being bothered for no reason. Now listen, I remember when I used to draw lines and people were like, yeah, line's crooked, can you fix it? I'm like, no. Because guys, are lines always, are lines that are designed to be straight always straight? No. Not even ours, not even the ones you draw. But some of you are bothered by it. I get it. Because you're like, man, that makes you so uneasy. No, it doesn't. I'll prove it to you right now. Ready? Work on the problem. And then uh, I'll show you how I'll prove it to you. So just work on it and then try to is ignore it as best homework? you can. No, no, that's that not. That dot is our homework. No. Okay. If you magnify now. it, what would it be? <clears throat> a dot, a bigger dot. <laughs> uh, way to go, <laughs> Okay, but, but I want you to look at this, guys, and please follow the order of operations. You got to add 14 plus D, but can you do that? Yes. No, you can't say 14D because that's multiplying 14 and D. That's not adding. All right, so you're like, uh, so, oh, we got something multiplying. Now, did anybody do 4C minus 2C first? Okay, that's common, but what does order of operations say to do first? What's in the, so you have to deal with that. That can't be dealt with. So now you have to deal with this. And at the very end, you're going to deal with the 4C. So don't do that. And trust me, hint, hint, on your test or quiz, sorry, I should say quiz, I will put one of those. And I'm going to see, did you pay attention? Don't combine those first. Don't do it. It's tempting, but don't do it. Okay. I'm just going to draw some arrows. <laughs> yes, ma'am? Two C times fourteen and two C. Negative two C times fourteen. Yes. Yeah. Oh, is this negative? Yeah. Oh. Um, then do you keep the two C or is it done with? This two C. Um, well, when you multiply by fourteen, you merge it together, and so it's done. Okay. Yeah. All right. What's negative two C times fourteen? Negative twenty eight C. Okay. Yes, ma'am. So why do you always do the one? That multiply it by the number closest to the parentheses. Why don't you do it four C times? Like why did I do this yeah. times both? Because the distributive property involves addition or subtraction in here, and then any number that's being multiplied <laughs> by it. So either this number or if there are a number multiplied out here. But yeah, you can't go all the way out there. That's a good question. Okay, what's uh, here? It is. What's negative two C times D? Negative, negative two C D or D C. Same thing. And that four C. <laughs> It's not gone. Okay. Yes, ma'am? You do, then you do 4C minus 28C, which is negative 24C, <coughs> minus 2CD, yes, and then you're done. You're done. Yes, I did it, right. What is it? Yes, I did it. 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 Yes,
The longest like that? Yeah, kind of like just Oh, it's coming up. Oh, you mean this? No, it's not the longest. Actually, the one you did before, that was one of the longer ones. No, 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 wait, wait. Oh, the dot. I forgot. Um, now, I was observing Ruth because you didn't like the dot, right? But she forgot about the dot. You know why? Because it didn't really bother her. <gasps> Dare I say that it didn't really, oh, no, 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 no. It bothered her at first, didn't it? No, 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 no. And this goes, it bothered you, right? At first you're like, I don't like that. But then I realized, wait, the reason it bothers you is because you're thinking about it. Get busy. Stop thinking about it. You don't even think. And you forgot about it. Oh, where's the dog that I was just talking about? I can't even it's like America. Oh, sorry, it's this little guy. Oh, I love how you were about to touch it and make it big. Is that why we forgot about our dog? Enter your last problem. Now you're just reminding us, Aiden. All right, keep working, guys. you got to do this problem. So write it down. The, write it down accurately. Don't mess up one of the symbols or the variables or the exponents because it throws everything off. Wait, I'm going to let you try this one on your own while I get your test. <gasps> it's not time. It's not. That's early. So wait. Okay. I'm going to get your test back to you um, as you're doing this problem. And it looks like we'll have to finish this up uh, tomorrow. Low battery. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.